Mode set. Executing. What's up, gamers? It's your boy, CDROM 1019. Welcome back to Tales of Monkey Island, Lair of the Leviathan. Okay, well, we've got the cochlea. Only one thing really left to do, and that's just get us the heck out of here. Alright, well, it seems like this goes here, so let's get this done. I think we're back on course. I think I fixed your manatee problem. How about that? I felt the beast rumble and checked my compass. It says that we're right on course. Ancient manatee mating grounds? Here we come. How did you fix his sense of direction? Funny you should ask. I ran into your old crew. My crew? Yeah, and they had the cochlea the entire time. I just pretended <laughs> I wanted to join their stupid club and... My crew! Yeah, your crew. Alive this entire time. Who would have thunk? You betrayed us! Uh... Uh... I did nothing of the sort! <laughs> I would never! We trusted you! Unbelievable, man. Uh, look, guys. I can explain. There's no need. Ah, uh, Bug Eye. The unlikely voice of reason. Breaking the trust of the Brotherhood has only one consequence. Uh... A hundred demerits. 100 demerits? Death. Kill him. Hey -o. Mm. Uh, Morgan, Stop. sweetie. It's killing time. Excuse me? A trio of bloodthirsty mutineers are gonna pop out of that hole in three, two... What did I say earlier about running to me for help? One... Really, Morgan? Turn and fight! I could use a hand! Ha! He wants help from a girl! Are you still whining over that little scratch I gave you back on the narwhal? Uh... <laughs> it's go time, Morgan! I can't just be told when to fight. I'm not some junkyard dog. Yeah, man! Treat a woman with respect, would you? Uh... Uh, the mutineers were calling you a pansy earlier. No, we weren't. He said you were a wilting flower. That sounds like Guybrush Threepwood. <sighs> Look, I'm sorry. Look, I'm sorry about before. Sorry about what? About assuming you were incapable of handling the situation. You are capable. Now, please, show these mutineers your capabilities. And? And you're a mighty bounty hunter. That's sweet. But aren't you forgetting something? <laughs> a snack? A snack! You oh. should never enter a battle outnumbered on an empty stomach. No. <laughs> Get him! Of course. You need my lucky ankle warmers. Can't run a man through with cold ankles. That's what my pa always said. No. My ankles are fine. What I need is... Oh, I your sword. Is of course. Oh! Weapon privileges restored. Thank you. <laughs> Mutineers of the crew of Coronado de Cava. I would like to establish, for the record, that the four of you were just manhandled by a woman. So in essence, you've been woman handled. Which I imagine was not near as pleasant as it sounds. Go dangle your yardum, you traitor! Nice work, Morgan. Thanks, Captain. I mean, thanks, honey bunch. Now, <laughs> Coronado. How do we get out of here? I'm 14 steps ahead of you, mijo. Here, this should do the trick. That's a unique formula a Panamanian prune juice, East Indian espresso beans, and booty breakfast bran flakes. A few drops administered to the creature's digestive system should be our one-way ticket topside. Got it. A few drops in the biggest vial pool I can find. <laughs> Done and done. Quick, everyone on board. Hold on to your pantalones.
Hey, we made it. <laughs> Yuck! That could have been worse. Really? Just a quick trip up the blowhole. Manatees don't have blowholes. What? Then... Oh, yeah. Yuck. <laughs> hey, about down there. I was a bit of a monkey's ass. No, well, yes, but I was going to say that your style's not so bad. Uh, nothing if not stylish. Anyway, I work alone. But you and I made a decent team. Hey, love birds, quit flapping your gums and get up here. My treasure sits mere fathoms away. <gasps> and my ship, the Howler Monkey. I thought I'd never see you again. I've dropped anchor down to the mating grounds and the cavern of La Esponja Grande. Now, if only my lawyer crew was worth a piece of eight, Star crew ever even had the temerity to expire. What's the problem? Santino was not only a world-class horseman, bullfighter, and pastry chef. He was also, most importantly, an unrivaled skin diver. There is no other man who can survive the swim down to the mating grounds. Guybrush can hold his breath for ten minutes. Is that so? Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Well then, what are you waiting for, bucko? Hey, hey! The sponge and make it a snappy. Yep. Okay. Down we go. Hey, a treasure chest. <clears throat> Let's see here. Six thousand doubloons, jewel crown of Queen Archipelago. Oh, and a golden wrenchy thing. Score. A golden wrench. Okay. <clears throat> Welcome to La Esponja Grande. The ancient voodoo artifact preservation society welcomes you to La Esponja Grande. Please stay on the path. Beware of the Leviathan. Leviathan country. All ocean life is dangerous. Do not approach or feed. Hmm. Bones. Whoa. Check out the ominous remains of dead giant sea creatures. Odd. Hmm. There's the anchor. Oh, wow. Yeah, I think this is the manatee we rode in on. He looks okay. Consider it. Hey there, uh, manatee. Hmm. All right. Good talk. Can't understand what you're saying. Let me come back to you on that one. Can I go up the anchor? I better not go back up empty-handed. The copa means business. Hmm. Guess not. What's up with all the giant clamshells? Item, the home of La Esponja Grande. Uh oh. In the Guardian of Lyspawn. Oh, you, you did, huh? A giant squid? They've been known to hunt and swallow entire corsairs. No. <gasps> Megalodon? Devil whale? Worse. What then? Female. Giant. Manatee. The monster must be tamed, Chief Whistle. With what? A rolled up newspaper? Taming the female is no easy task. Their fickle minds are the greatest of all riddles. Complex, confounding, beautiful. Are we still talking about manatees? Mm -hmm. I equipped my crew to be able to communicate with the creatures. 
Alas, Santino was the only one who had learned to understand their song. Sort of put all your eggs in one basket, huh? Oh, what an explorer he would have made. Yeah, would have. Uh, you don't have any plan for this? You don't have some cockamamie plan for taking care of the Leviathan? Nothing. I originally spent three months fabricating a giant manatee suitor to be piloted by a crew of 15 men, all well-learned in the ways of bestial romance. But sadly, they were lost during a trial run, mashed like peas. Yeesh. Uh, how did he learn? Santino wasn't raised by giant manatees, was he? How could he understand them? Learned it on Flotsam Island, I believe, from a scientist. The Marquis? Huh. Even if we could get the wings to work in our favor, I'm not leaving this anchorage. I've come too far to risk losing the location of my super absorbent prize. Mm, okay, how did he make all the sounds? Sure, Santino could understand Manatee, but how did he make those strange noises to communicate with them? With the tongue of the Manatee, of course. What's the deal with you and Manatee parts? It's a device that I plan to market to tourists such as yourself after this adventure was complete. It allows you to produce their sounds. Oh, so I don't have to put my mouth on anything gross? I asked one of my crewmen to watch after it long ago. Let me guess. Santino. Certainly not. His skills were not to be wasted on such a simple mission. It would have been one of the others. Though I'll be slivered if I can remember which one. Ah, oh boy. So one of the mutineers should know where the tongue of the manatee is? I imagine so. Okay. Got it. Learn to communicate with the manatee and La Esponja Grande will finally be within our grasp. Hey, uh, you still in there, Winslow? Ben Winslow, how are you feeling? On the men, sir. <coughs> I just wanted to let you know that we're out of the manatee, so whenever you feel like joining us on deck. Try to tell me what to do again, and you'll be clear hard halfway to Sunday. Sorry. Ooh, a fish. Ooh, look at that fish lock. Come here, you. Hmm. Okay. We're right on top of La Esponja Grande. DeCava would never let us set sail. Right. Oh, that's... Okay, that's not gonna help. Alright, yeah, go back up. Take this, manatee. <laughs> hey, Morgan, how you doing? Pirate hunter, but do you have any female insight into this manatee problem? You mean the monster? The same. This thing is colossal. Teeth the size of a ship's mast. Been killing any male manatee that gets within a flipper's lane. You know, she might seem cold and brutal, but she's probably just, I don't know, lonely. You know? Shouldn't she just stop murdering anything that gets near her cave then? What did you do when she showed her teeth? Hello? I ran away. Right. You know what I think? What's that? She needs another manatee to stand its ground and not be so afraid of her. She kills them because that's all she knows how to do. And if someone could overcome that fear of death and stand in front of her long enough to teach her something different, I think she might just let them. And then we could get the sponge? Yes, and then we could get the sponge. And then we can cure Elaine. Perfect. Talk a male manatee into standing its ground. I... Thanks, Mo. You're the best. Uh, yeah. Don't worry about it. I. What do you want from me, Morgan? I'm married. <laughs> what? What do we? I mean, you're really nice and all. And if we didn't meet, if I didn't meet Elaine four four games earlier, and I met you instead. Hey, Mo. Um. Those mutineers have information. I've got ways of making them talk. I bet you do, but you know what? I think I've got this. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, can I borrow your sword? Can I borrow your sword for a minute? Just for a minute. Thanks. Uh, let's see. So, do you know anything about the language? Do you know anything about the language of manatees? No. I speak a little monkey, though. 
Hmm. Hey, you work for the Singe. How can I get back to Flotsam? I need him to teach me how to understand Manatee. The next time you set foot on Flotsam, you'll be dissected. Hatchy, you ever consider a career with their Chamber of Commerce? Failing there isn't an option. Lose your heart on Flotsam Island, along with your swing. What you need is a way to get to Flotsam without being on Flotsam. Hey, that sounds like a puzzle. You really are warming up to my shtick. Hmm. How do I get to Flotsam without being on Flotsam? Your metaphysical tomfoolery is boggling my mind. How do I get to Flotsam Island without being on Flotsam Island? I'm saying you need to get back there, but you can't set foot on the island. So, good luck with that. Nice. Okay. Um. About this female manatee. Yeah. Get a male manatee to stand its ground. Then what? Oh, I could teach him the courting dance of the Monkey Island cannibals. Or how about you get him to string a coherent sentence together? A little humor doesn't hurt either. Coherent sentence and humor. Thanks. Hmm. I need information. I'll never break. Tongue of the Manatee, start talking. Tongue of the Manatee, who had it? Never find it, betrayer. Are you comfy? Comfy. You're a betrayer. But do you think Morgan is still into me? Oh, yeah, definitely. See how you still have all your limbs? That means she cares. Good. <laughs> Arr. Arr. <laughs> what? Why? Um... Intimidate me. Hmm. Okay. All right, that's enough. All right, you. Tongue of the manatee. Who had it? Not telling you, man. I'll never talk. Santino's with me on this. Yeah, we'll rot before you know anything. Solidarity, brother. Hmm. Uh, tough guys, huh? Let's see what happens when I tighten the screws. Hurt me all you want. I'll never sing for the man. Yeah, hurt him all you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Santino will snap. Santino will snap like a twig. Do or like <laughs> three times stronger than one. You'll never break either of us. You'll have to kill me. I'm already dead. You got nothing on us, bro. Hmm. To have to go and pull you away from your icon. Unbelievable, Brock. I thought you and I were gonna have buckets of good times. Just you, me, Santino, Jumbo Jimbo, partying at the cantina. Maybe hit the mucus flume for a change of pace. Yeah, I can't believe I'm gonna miss out on the mucus flume. Ha! <laughs> you can't scare me with Santino by my side. The fires of my rage will keep you warm, brother. Hmm. Sounds like you might be the easiest to break. You can't stay tough forever. Watch me. As soon Watch as I him. just make Santino break. Hey, Murray. You, Murray. His name is Santino. Santino. I know you know Diddley. That might be so, but oh. I'll never talk, and the wills of these men will be stronger for it. You'll never talk about what? This information won't come easy. How loose to give up his info? Never! I revel in your frustration with my tight-lipped comrade. Hmm. You're useless. <laughs> Brotherhood's not so cool now, is it? Wait until we chew through your ropes of oppression and topple your puppet regime. Wow, you... Murray, you've gone political. I just learned all those words. <laughs> you can't even move, Murray. I'm throwing you overboard. Yeah, try it, Bumblefingers. Zoinks. Hmm. Okay. See you later. Be gone, oppressor. Yeah, and what about you, bug eye? I need information. You'll never make me talk. I draw my strength from the Brotherhood. Mm-hmm. Who had the tongue of the manatee, scumbag? I didn't have it. I can't remember who had it, but it wasn't me. He's telling the truth. The what? 
I didn't even have to do anything. Sometimes they break easy, like delicate Fabergé eggs. Look at him. He's a wreck. Just don't hurt me. Fine. Really? What else do you know? Nothing. Please let me go. I want to go home. What's home for you? You haven't been home in a while. See what you get for being a stick in the mud? We'll see. Talk to you later. You know, I can't help but wonder, since he's the easiest to break, why do I even have this fish? I don't want anything bad to happen to this fish. Alright, well, either way. My mother always told me to use my words. Or at least not to resort to out and out. Uh, Alright, well. Check my items. Ooh, I got a bunch of doubloons. And a crown. When did I even get those? Whoop, shoot. I want to know more about this wrench. Mariana wrench turns a bolt of any fathom. Hmm. That's a lot of coin. The crown of Queen Archipelago. Upon further examination, the jewels are plastic. Oh, darn. That stinks. It's Elaine's wedding ring. It's a picture Morgan clipped of me. I think this was taken right after I saved the village of Kaplu from a lava slide whilst constructing the cutlass. Or it's from a wanted poster. It's hard to say. Mm. Decava's Manatee Exit Concoction, a proprietary blend of condensed foods to keep giant sea mammalia regular. I can pour this in the manatee's central bio pool to be extracted. Mm-hmm. A seahorse head. Giant manatees snack on these things like crackers. Man, if somebody made little fish-shaped snack crackers for people, they'd be sitting on a gold mine. Heh. <laughs> True. All my blood. Sometimes I pretend it's just a really skinny hand. Okay, well. All right, Murray. I tried to be nice. I tried to be a team player. I'm sorry it had to come to this. The tongue of the manatee location or someone here will never need a milliner again. Uh, a milliner? Hat maker. A hatter. I'm cutting off somebody's head. You don't have the stones. Don't I? You don't scare me with your sharp, shiny stick, puny mortal. I am Santino, the incontrovertible demonic skull. And I shall... Three words! Bye, Murray. Ah! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, man! What? What happened? We can't see! He did it! He's crazier than a sack of eels, man! What did he do? Santino's dead! Ah! <laughs> Don't hurt anyone else. I'll talk. Go. I didn't have it. That's all I can remember. Forgive me for not trusting your vile encrusted memory. I didn't have it, bro. He's telling the truth. Or at least he thinks he is. All right. Who's next? Hmm. That's a shame. Tell me more. Tell me more. I told you all I know, brah. I can't believe you killed him. Eh, I'm sorry about your friend. Uncool, bro. Uncool. Anyway, talk to you later. Hmm. You gonna talk now, Tubby? My mother always told me to use my words, ah. or at least not to resort. To Darn! It would have been it would have been fun to point it at him. I need information. I'll never break. Tongue of the manatee. Who had it? Never find it, betrayer. Huh? So, like, I don't get some of this. They they made a like they they gave me the clues to say that like I could make moose break by killing Santino, and then Santino still doesn't know anything. Thought you were the scaredy cat of the group. I'm deceptively principled, unlike you, Benedict Arnold. All right, guess I'm gonna have to intimidate you. Arr. Question is gonna be how though. You, you can't intimidate me. Hmm. All right, that's enough. That's the mess of my ship, the screaming narwhal. What? That's the mess of my ship, the screaming narwhal. Why does that make you mad? Hey, Mo. Thanks. That makes her really upset for some reason. I don't know why. Let's see what you get for being a stick in the mud? We'll see. All right. I just got to I I got to intimidate um, Noogie somehow. 
just not I don't remember what face I have to use uh, so let's see um. hmm Hmm, is there? Wait a minute, do I get to... They call to... the ship the Howler Monkey. It might not be the fastest ship in the Caribbean, but it's certainly seen the most wild. Huh. Wait a minute. Is there something up here? Oh, what's this? May I have a look at your files? As a trusted member of my crew, there's nothing I wouldn't share with you. Really? Go right ahead. Hmm. Interesting. What's all this? Monkey Tamer Thrill Seekers. Chase Quigley's. Not in control of my own actions. Whitey tighties. Keep an eye on this one. Okay. Santino. Sam Mantino, T Bird, Sir Santino, the Duke of Triumph. Swordplay, bullfighting, pastry chef, sand diving, matchmaking, treasure hunting, language of giant manatees, cross stitch. Turn on being Santino. On natural. Tish. Oh, brother. Leisure. Turn on primo talent. M. Yeah, okay. Bummers. Under things, it's all good. Questionable work ethic. Bug eye. Pugilistics, the blood of tyrants, life unveiled, boxers, bit of a fuss bucket. <laughs> okay, noogie. What? Percussion, turn on leather, Sist greatest fear, Sister Agnes, mugshot attached. Whoa, look at the mug on that nun. Whoa, Can I have this, please? Mug on that nun. Eh, I guess I can't do anything with it. Okay. Oh, hey, the locket. Kava's locket. Maybe you drink it, or a foil wrapped candy to remove it center. Look all you want, but don't take it. Voodoo lady. A little younger, a little thin. Well, a little younger. <laughs> if I take this picture, Dekava will blow a gasket. I need to replace it. I never noticed this before. Wonder what it does. Skybrush. The voodoo power contained within that locket is not to be meddled with. The last time you fiddled with the powers of voodoo, you stupidly unleashed the powers of... <laughs> Do it again. Did I not make myself clear? Subvert me again, and the next time I get my hands on you, I'm going to... Okay. Party pooper. What is it, Swabby? Uh, actually, you know what? I think we're coming up on a good time to stop here. Let me see. I can't wait to get La Esponja Grande. What? Why do you care about La Esponja? I, uh, just want to get good marks come Kuman in Utah. Ah, very well, then. What you working on? So, what you doing? Working. On? Plan B. Oh, good thinking. Alright, I'll tell you what. Um... I know, I'm pretty sure we're close to the end of this, and I know I, I finally got the answer we need to make uh, Noogie break. So let's do that next episode. Thank you, everyone, so much for watching. Make sure you check out the rest of the videos on the GSL YouTube channel. Check out officialytr.com slash forums for more fun, and check me out at twitch.tv slash chaos control channel. You know you want to. I'll see you guys next week from the conclusion of this chapter of Tales of Monkey Island. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.